Welcome to the Rachel Varga Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Varga, double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures performed. I'm an international clinical trainer for other physicians and nurses as well, celebrity skin expert, having been featured on some of the world's top proactive aging podcasts and much, much more. Learn more at rachelvarga.ca and enjoy today's episode. Hello and welcome. My name is Rachel Varga, double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist, and I've been serving my clients with their at-home and in-clinic needs since 2011. And when we're talking about at-home options, dermal rolling is a decades-old practice to simulate collagen and to allow the skin to receive more deeply things like vitamin C and vitamin A, which are critical to healthy skin cell function. We no longer want to just think about what we're applying on the top of the skin topically, but we want to be achieving more transdermal application, which is achieved with dermal rolling. So if you're wanting to address things like promoting more collagen, reduce things like fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, acne scarring, and large pore size, as well as maybe some laxity around the eyelids, and even plumping the lips in a non-injectable way, dermal rolling is a way to achieve just that. Now, I will preface this video by saying that new new collagen tends to deposit and form in the skin after about three months. Mature collagen takes anywhere from six to eight months to begin to develop. So things like dermal rolling and these types of at-home microneedling practices do take time to see the results. However, the results can be quite profound after months and years of utilizing this tactic at home. And I will be the first to tell you that in my observation of working with clients who have been rolling for a number of years, even between the ages of 60 to 80, they actually have thicker skin, less pores, fine lines, wrinkles, and pigmentation, literally thicker skin because they have more collagen and elastin because we've been stimulating it through these little tiny micro injuries on the skin, they actually have thicker skin than clients I see in their 20s and 30s when I go and perform some type of facial treatment on them, which is very interesting. Nothing in the skin and rejuvenation world that actually works is going to be an overnight success because things like collagen do take time to form in the tissues. So dermal rolling, stick with it. Don't worry if you fall off track for a period of time just get right back on the bandwagon, if you will, when you remember. Here are a few tips that I'd like to share with you for introducing dermal rolling into your at-home skincare routine and even how to weave it with your in-clinic rejuvenation plan. Now for my one-on-one clients, I will help you select the type of dermal roller that I think is suitable for your needs. I may start you on a 0.1 millimeter dermal roller, or I might start you on a 0.2 millimeter dermal roller like the gold one here, or we may go straight into the 0.3 dermal roller here, or if we're wanting to target deeper acne scars, I may even direct you towards once a week using a 0.5 millimeter dermal roller. Now I would like to just preface this and give you a little bit of a warning that pretty much all of the dermal rolling videos that I personally have seen that are offered for free online are really subpar in the quality of information that's being shared. Now, one of the things that I have to do to protect myself is to not be showing you techniques through videos that are easily able to be um, dispersed like this one. So in a one-on-one session, I literally show you how to use your roller. I will show you some techniques in this video, don't worry. But in my skin camp programs, that is where I actually show my tutorials of me performing dermal rolling on my skin, how to prepare the skin, what to, which products to apply afterwards, so on and so forth. So if you're looking for like a really in-depth deep dive on dermal rolling, I definitely recommend that you register for my next seasonal skin camp to even learn with me Let me show you, let me teach you how to wash your face, perform your dermal rolling, how to apply your products, and of course, things like hair, skin, nail tutorials, and dermal rolling tutorials, and how to use this device over here for even deeper penetration of things like peptides deep into the dermis. So here's what you need to know about dermal rolling. 
First of all, I don't want you to jump straight into dermal rolling. First of all, we need to actually stabilize the skin. So if you're worrying about things like redness, sensitive skin, and your skin just hasn't really ever had anything done to it, where we need to begin is with your five basics to stabilize your skin. These five basics include cleansing the skin morning and night with a double cleanse in the evening, moisturizing the skin morning and night, Think of your moisturizer like your multivitamin for the skin. You may also be applying things like an eye cream, a neck cream, or an antioxidant serum before your moisturizer as an example of an advanced protocol. Then you're going to be applying mineral sunscreen to the face, eyelids, neck, chest, even using a lip balm on the lips throughout the day to keep up the lip protection is really important. Exfoliating a few times a week as needed is very, very important. If you're dealing with dryness or sensitive skin, it likely can actually be an accumulation of the dead skin cells. This, what we see on the skin is actually dead skin. There's a buildup of stratum corneum and what can get trapped in those cornflake layers kind of looks like cornflakes under the microscope, the top layers of the skin, this is what we're seeing. We can get things like dirt, debris, and microbes in the air, and also cosmetic creams and makeup accumulating in between the cornflakes, which can actually lead to things like oxidative stress and even accelerated aging. And you will notice things like redness and dryness and irritation. So that's why exfoliating is important but you have to use the right products and I'll talk about that in just a second. The fifth thing I'd like you to consider is actually using things like a mask to hydrate and exfoliate maybe once or twice a week at home. And there's even some options with at home peels that are very gentle and very clean. And as you may know, or may not know, I work with non-toxic skin and rejuvenation options. Now the toxins you need to be aware of in your products that you may currently be using you need to avoid things like parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, fragrances, and use products that aren't tested on animals. If you're not sure where to start, head on over to my e-store at rachelvarga.ca. And in my store there, you will find my pre-vetted list of products, hair care, supplements, grooming supplies, dermal rollers, serums to help get you started. The one-on-one -on -one session with me will help me provide you with the customized approach, the ongoing support and plan. And then skin camps are open for everybody, but ideally every one-on-one -on -one client that works with me should take a skin camp so that you can learn the tutorials. But I am going to show you what you need to know about dermal rolling to basically get started today. What I'd like you to do is focus on stabilizing the skin with those five key basics. And if you'd like some more information on that, be sure to download my five keys to slowing skin aging and also getting healthier skin. I also have a few other checklists that you can download like my dermal rolling checklist, my skin checklist, and my five steps to sophisticated skin. Those are all free resources that I'm willing to share with you at rachelvarga.ca and you'll get those in your inbox. So start with the five basics to stabilize the skin for two weeks. Two weeks is gonna be kind of this magic number that you will hear me repeat. Stabilize the skin for two weeks. Calm down any redness, irritation, get the skin behaving a little bit more optimally by literally just looking after the skin in a more optimal way. Then for two weeks, two nights a week, say for example, let's start on a Monday or a Friday, I'd like you to in the evening be using some of the dermal rolling serums that I could lay out for you. Now these dermal rolling serums will will include things like copper peptide, lactic acid, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin B complex, glutathione, and some other important key ingredients. What we're wanting to do with dermal rolling is allow these amazing powerhouse skin enhancing products, their skin cell signalers to make the skin cells behave more optimally, but not just applying them topically, we actually want to be applying them deeper into the skin. So what you're gonna do is, before going to bed, wash your face, maybe do a scrub, and apply your copper peptide, your soluble C, and your intensive corrective vitamin serum, which you can find on my e-store. I'd like you to apply those 
to the face, neck, chest, and hands. It's a really important little bonus tip here to not apply your retinol anywhere near the eyes because that will create irritation to your eyes and lash line, and that's not a lot of fun. So with the uh, retinol that I like to recommend with rolling, it does have a little bit of a red stripe, so that can remind you, oh, no retinol around the eyes, it might create some irritation. So with your retinol products, apply them no closer than around the orbital rim. Now, for two weeks, two nights a week, Monday and Wednesday, you're using those serums before going to bed. Sure, you can apply your eye cream over top and maybe even an approved moisturizer that I've set out for you. That's fine too, just go to bed. And then in the morning, cleanse and carry on with the five key basics to help keep the skin stable. So two weeks to stabilize the skin, two weeks, two nights a week with your dermal rolling serums. And then, so after about a month of that, then you can begin to incorporate your dermal roller here. Now, the method to the madness with dermal rolling is really quite simple. My dermal rolling checklist is incredible to basically summarize everything you need to do. You can continue to refer back to that checklist. Skin Camp alumni and one-on-one -on -one clients get the more detailed version of that, but I do have a free version that you can download over at rachelvarga.ca as well. The link for that is in the description of this session. Now, with dermal rolling, you're doing it on clean skin in the evening only, and you're doing paint brush-like pressure. Now, this is a 0.3 millimeter dermal roller. You're not gonna be seeing any blood. It's not gonna be painful or anything like that. It's just gonna feel a little bit prickly, a little bit stingy, but that's it. Now, with the instructions that come with the roller, there are some cleaning instructions as well as some application instructions. And what we're about to talk about and what I'm gonna show you here is not medical advice. This is educational information only. If you think you have a medical condition or before making any lifestyle modifications, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. Now with dermal rolling, we're doing 10 passes in each section and in each direction. So we're starting with 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then we're lifting it up and we're going to the next area, lifting it up, going to the next area. Then you're going to go horizontal and then you're gonna go on an angle. So we're essentially doing an asterisk type of pattern on the skin to get really good coverage. And you're sectioning your face into areas like a circle or a heart. So cheek, temple, forehead, eyelids, we'll talk about the eyelids in a second, nose, lips, jawline, chin, jawline, neck, and you can do the chest and the hands. Now with the face, you're doing the four directions. You're always lifting when you're repositioning. So you're never turning, because turning is tearing. Then on the neck and the chest, you're just going vertical and horizontal. And then on the hands, you're just going vertical and you're doing that twice. Now, the reason why is the skin off the face is a little bit more delicate. You might think that the skin on your face might be more sensitive, but it's actually the other way around. That's why using a different neck cream can be helpful to basically address the needs of the different skin cell needs and signaling ingredients that are ideal for the neck, the chest, and off the face. So after you've performed your dermal rolling, you're going to be applying your products. Now there are some nuances to addressing things like the nose, which is a highly contoured area, which can be really tricky to get with, to get at, to get with, to get at with your roller. So I'd like you to use your stamper and use it in those highly contoured areas. You can also use a stamper near the eyes and even in the hairline. If you're gonna do dermal rolling for hair growth, you're going to be following it up with something like minoxidil or some other hair growth stimulating products that you can find on my e-store at rachelvarga.ca. Now you can roll into the hairline to stimulate dormant hair follicles in the edges area, the crown and whatnot, but you need to have a separate roller if you're going to be doing the hair because it will dull your roller significantly. And if you go and use that on your face, it's just gonna be dull. These rollers will dull after about two years, so they're about a two year type of object. Um, low quality rollers you'll find online, like the really subpar ones, are only going to be uh, able to do what they claim to try and do. After about 10 to 20 uses, you need to throw them away. 
Now, some warnings with dermal rollers is not all of them are created equally. So the products you find on my e-store and that I recommend are actually products that have been used, dermal rollers that have been used for decades. Um, dermal rolling microneedling is a decades old practice. Doing it at home is great to provide this consistent micro injury and damage to the skin to get the skin to be in healing mode. And again, allow the channels to be created in the skin, much like how we aerate the lawn. And then you're gonna be applying your products to be not only absorbed topically, but transdermally about 100 to 1000 times deeper much deeper into the skin where actually the skin is still alive because where we see the skin when we're putting products on the skin is actually dead skin so this is why it's important to do some at-home options like this to feed and nourish the skin on a much deeper and more cellular level so after you've completed your dermal rolling which for the eyes that's something i'm going to lead to, I'm gonna leave that to a one-on-one -on -one session and in my skin cam tutorials because I don't want you to, you know, perhaps take this information and use it incorrectly. Also, my one-on-one -on -one clients and skin campers get some more detailed instructions on how to safely do the eye area. You can do the eyelids with the dermal roller, but you do need to be a little bit more cautious in that area. I love the idea of being able to roll the lips to keep the lips nice and plump, but then you're also going to be wanting to couple that with some type of lip balm with a bit of sunscreen. And I have an amazing lip balm and sunscreen product on my e-store. Now, after you've performed your dermal rolling, you're then going to be applying products. I like to recommend you apply them in this order your copper peptide, your soluble C, and your intensive corrective serum. Remembering that the retinol type of product is not applied around the eyes. Now I've seen horror stories and videos on YouTube of people using lactic acid type products or other products that weren't designed to be used with dermal rollers. So just because you hear me saying different skin actives and ingredients doesn't mean that this influencer that you're watching over here has a good protocol. The protocols I'm working with, I've used with my clients since 2011. They're pretty tried and true and they do provide results, but you have to lay the groundwork and have those five key basics on hand because when you're dermal rolling, when you're using retinols, you can definitely experience things like dryness, redness, and flakiness. You're also only rolling at nighttime because you can have a little bit of injury, the little tiny holes you're creating in your skin, they do need to close up while you're sleeping. So that's why you don't want to be doing your rolling in the morning and then carrying on with your day. Now, after rolling, again, you're applying in alphabetical order, the copper peptide, soluble C, and the vitamin serum, and going to bed. You may want to apply something a little bit more hydrating afterwards. So that's where you can use your Supreme Lotion, the Shield Moisturizer, the 555, the K-Derma. Those are some options on my e-store that I've recommended to you that are compatible to use after dermal rolling. Again, not everything is designed to be used in that transdermal way. Most skincare products are designed to be used topically. It's very important you remember that and not just use whatever product someone's telling you to use with thermal rolling because of that. But you're here, you're more discerning than that. That's why you are listening to me here. All right. Now there are some advanced things you can do with your dermal rolling. You can actually rep uh, reply. You can apply a revival mask that I've probably outlined for you after your dermal rolling as a bit of an at-home option. Now, if we're targeting things like acne, you're going to be doing and and for anti-aging, fine lines, wrinkles, you're going to be doing your dermal rolling two to five nights a week. So start with your rolling on say like you did with your dermal rolling serums a Monday and a Friday. And so start with cleansing the skin, do your rolling, apply your serums, maybe your eye cream and moisturizer if you need a little extra hydration, and then do it again Monday and Friday, so twice a week. Then the following week, if you did well, you can bump it up to three times a week, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then four times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and then up to even five times a week. So. You really wanna be dermal rolling two to five times a week. And dermal rolling is a long game strategy. Again, new collagen takes about three months to form and mature collagen takes about six to eight months to form. That's also why with some deeper in clinic laser rejuvenation options, 
it's kind of the gift that keeps on giving. You do have to keep up with it to see the results long term. And sometimes for those clients out there that are seeking that bright shiny object syndrome that will give them immediate results, it just doesn't exist with collagen simply because it does take new collagen and mature collagen, there's various different collagen types out there to form. So you really wanna stick with it. But if you fall off the dermal rolling bandwagon, don't worry. Just get back on when you can remember it. Say you're taking time off for holidays. Maybe don't take your dermal roller with you or your retinol or your dermal rolling serums. Maybe rely on your basics while you are not at home and whatnot. And the less you travel with your dermal roller, that's also these some great tips. Um, the less likely you are to drop it. Because if you drop it, you have to replace it. You're never sharing your dermal roller with anybody else. Again, a separate roller is ideal for the face and a separate roller for the hair. Now, cleaning instructions is outlined in my dermal rolling checklist. Uh, but essentially, when you're rolling on clean skin and then applying your products, you're going to be keeping your roller cleaner. That's why I don't love the idea of applying products pre and then rolling, but there are some nuances with that with different in-clinic microneedling options. And I do have some opinions on that, which I will be very forthcoming in a one-on-one -on -one session and also in my skin camp programs. I am so thrilled to have you joining me here today and to continue to follow me and work with me because I truly want what's best for you. And I truly want to help continue to guide you on your path towards becoming a more high vibrating human. Dermal rolling is a great option for those who don't wanna do injectables, they don't want to, don't have the time or money to do in-clinic laser rejuvenation, and they really wanna focus on their skin health. Dermal rolling isn't for everyone. I would say dermal rolling is really for that type of individual that's willing to do the work and isn't just for that consumer that's distracted by this bright shiny object here and there. I don't want you to be investing in your dermal roller, dermal rolling serums, and your basic skincare protocol if you're not going to do it. So what I would suggest is to start with your basic skincare protocol, maybe start to do some at-home peels, then maybe start to do the at-home dermal rolling serums and then introduce the dermal roller. Dermal rollers aren't that expensive. In fact, if you were to think about what it would cost you to have laser sessions over two years versus the cost of a really good high quality roller that will last you two years, dermal rolling will give you long-term results. I feel like lasers are just gonna give you those results a little bit sooner but there's also downtime associated with that. So there's pros and cons with each different option. So I love to encourage healthy living, keep that inflammation down, do some biohacking to hack your environment to support your skin like air purifiers in your home and where you're living so that you don't have dirt and microbes on your skin. So there's lots that we can talk about with optimizing your internal cellular health so that your skin will give you and show you the benefits when the internal mechanisms are humming along just fine. But sometimes when we've done all that work, doing something like dermal rolling and using dermal rolling serums can be very helpful. If you have any questions from this session here, don't hesitate to email me info at rachelvarga.ca and for more tutorials where you can actually see me perform dermal rolling, show some more advanced techniques as well, that's over at my seasonal skin camps, which you can of course register for at rachelvarga.ca as well. And Let's just quickly end the session on some bonus content. So this is a device here. This is not a microcurrent. This is DF Mobile. You can get this on my e-store. Now, what I like to encourage is to, at some point, get into an advanced protocol. You perform your dermal rolling, you do, you do your needling, and then you can use two different serums here. I love these ones. Um, to use with the DF Mobile. Now what you're doing is you're creating the needle, the tiny injuries with the dermal rolling, and then say you can apply this frown serum around the eyes. So the frown serum here is to be targeting areas of specific concern, like lines between the brows, forehead, eyes, uh, necklace lines, lines around the lips. So you put the serum on the skin, and then you basically hold this in place on a particular setting for about, 15 seconds and then it'll beep and then you go to the next area. What that's doing is it's allowing the product to be applied on the skin and then the device is applied. It's actually pushing and opening up 
the skin channels to receive the different peptides and antioxidants in here into the dermis. So this is said to be equivalent to having used the serum for a month for the results, but this device just allows those agents to be again absorbed quite a bit deeper into the skin. So that's the aim of the game. We want to harness science to open up our skin cells to be able to receive agents like vitamin C, E, hyaluronic acid, peptides, lactic acid, retinol, vitamin A, growth factors, vitamin B complex, all sorts of things deeper into the skin, not just topically. So as you can tell, there are some more advanced things that you can continue to do at home and using this device would be part of an advanced protocol. So you roll the skin, you put the serums on where you're wanting to target, you use the device. You can use the second serum over here, the tripeptide elixir for the entire other areas like the forehead, the neck, the chest, and do your entire face with this. And then you can follow that up with your dermal rolling serums and go to bed, or you can split it up. You can do your dermal rolling, apply your dermal rolling serums two to five nights a week, or you can even use this option, the DF Mobile and these serums in the morning and actually split it up. I personally love to use this in the morning. I find it just provides a little bit of a lift on my eyes, which I find helpful when I'm showing up on camera and on stage and you know, just living my best life, looking like a high vibe, radiant, beautiful human that you can too. So again, let me know if you have any questions from today's session. We went pretty deep here, but again, there's still more for you to learn. Let me know if you have any questions, email at info at rachelvarga.ca and I'll see you guys again soon.